Alrighty then, welcome back to our let's play of Project Zomboid. Sorry about the darkness, but the power went out in episode 10, so we've got dire problems. We've got no electricity. Uh, we did get ourselves sealed in. That's a big win, I suppose. But the lack of electricity, that's a big loss. But as we know, you win some and you lose some. And yeah. Oh look at that, we've got the oh, that's a that's a slight win for the today. So we'll listen to this automated station for now. Find out what's going on in the world. Anything? Ah, uh, on the wrong channel. That's better. Thunderstorms in four days. So that's about as much as we got from that. Uh, but at least we now know sort of what's going on. Seems that's the you know, best car we've got at the moment. I'm going to take one of these. And I'm going to siphon fuel out of this car here. Because we don't even have any gas. We, did, we should have, well, I knew we should have done it yesterday. Like the petrol station and the power was on, that we should have at least got, you know, some gas canisters filled up. But I thought, honestly thought we had a bit longer before the gas got out this time, but... No, oh well, unfortunately not. So we're going to have to live a little bit of a different way for a bit here. We've got no... Power. Uh, this bow is almost on its way out. So, I'm going to make a bow out of this one. Now, uh, we'll clip this one to both. This one will unfavor it. Let's do that in there. So, at least we've got a fresh weapon. Absolutely devastated that the power went out on us. Yeah, I had no words for it, to be honest. Just none whatsoever. Words are escaping me. We were just really shook by the whole. We've got no electricity problem now. Yeah, I know. Clear skies. Tomorrow. Clear skies. Autos will be able to start growing out. Crops. But for now. I can't the road here. I'm gonna check this fishing store. For now. Turn the car off. We get to work and move it now. There's only someone to come to the mission store. 
That's where we're going. Not that. water bottle so it's something else we probably should be concerned about that there's probably no water either um, stick all this in the truck alright so we've now got our fishing gear at least check those lot of boxes in play No, there is no working with generators magazine there. Alright, so what we will do is we'll go down this way. And we'll check where we lived last time. Because it is a house, it does have bookcases. And there's a chance for this generator mag at least. Which we're desperately, desperately going to need now. Going to be absolutely busting ass to find this generator mag. I feel. Here we are. At the house of death. Well, we unluckily died last time. Well, we'll take that. Take those three. Take those two. No, of course not. Couldn't be nice to us and give us the magazine I wanted. No, not at all. sewing kit. Ah! I thought you'd be behind the doors. And that sounds like the helicopter's outside. Oh, how do these generators... <laughs> that is the helicopter. So we're going to stay in here, try not to be spotted by it. So we just had an unbelievably lucky find. We got working with generators. I cannot believe it. Oh, and the helicopter's gone now. Those are things. Oh, cereal. Chips. I ate all that. I 
Make that happen before it goes wrong. Take all that. So our dreams came true today. We got working with generators in like the first place we looked. I mean, I, I'm stoked at that. I knew there was just something that said, Drags, go to where you died. In your last playthrough, you shall be successful. And here we are. We've got a generator. Oh, sorry, the magazines of generators at least. So now all we need to do is find said generator to go with it. Um, nothing really great there. I'll grab the propane torch, grab the metal sheet. So we have a little bit of food to go through. That's a good sign there. That book there is just... Oh, I'm so happy to say that. I thought we were going to be looking for this stupid magazine for like the next couple of episodes. But that has just made episode 11 just great. Beyond imagination. Go to this one. Take care of you. Take the potato seeds. French. So I need to get water going. So that might be our next point of call to get our base up and running. What we might do, hop back out of the car. Now I know back in Roseville there was some generators. We could almost go for a mad cruise there. And go get the generator that way. So there's got to be one around here. So what we'll do is we'll take that win that it is, we've got ourselves that generator magazine at least. Those houses down there don't have sheds, so not much point checking them for a generator. Oh, it's scratch my head is what we saying in oh, wait. While we're still at the center of town, there is one spot we could check for a generator. That might be a bit of a long shot. But it might also pay off huge again. Like that gamble did going to that house. We'll go down to this house here. Another one of my uh, favourite locations to build a base at Lake Ivy. You've got this cool driveway that leads you down to this house here. 
this uh, really nice spacious house. Take the side here. Wear that off on. That's some guns here. Look at that A generator. We're going home and we're going to have power when we get home. So that's that taken care of. I'll take that one. Take that one. Take that one. And those ones. Rather. Sure. Take that, take that, take that. Oh, it's another generator. That's godsend. That, that's just... This is too good. Oh, we got to definitely come back here. Yeah. I'll put that 
schon, Alter. Ich muss mal heilen. Das ist ein Triple Win today for us. It's like the Project Zomboid Gods are smiling down upon us, going, You're doing well. Keep it going. So we found two generators, which may as well. One for the petrol station. Uh, what we might do is grab one of those. So I think this guy's something. Generated down. Just gonna now connect it. Also pull out our car on the right side. with gas as they say. So we can fully fill up this car. Um grab those. Gas cans in the truck. And we will turn off our generator. And there we go. We're heading home. Full tank of fuel. Generator at the gas station. For all future uses. Now we'll return home, put this other generator down at home, and thank the Project Zomboid gods for being so kind to us in episode 13, and giving us two generators and the magazine, by, uh, by, just pure luck, like, pure, pure luck today. In one trip, we got, like, everything that we wanted for the foreseeable future everything the whole lot I'm amazed to be honest so 
So I'm pulling out a third power. Pulling out bow. Close the gate. And just see what this game is going on about as far as this music is concerned. Maybe it's just going on about that zombie we went past before. Place that bucket there. Uh, we might go put all of our magazines and stuff inside. Got quite a good book collection going on now. Start with the almighty generator, and we'll take all three gas cans. And we're going to stick our generator maybe right here. Hundred percent fuel. Let's place these items over here. And the gas can can go over there. Once the gas can go there. We're no longer in darkness. We're saved. Uh, all of that fish got saved. Style, style. We'll get rid of the style stuff. Eat that. been saved people like honestly now we're a generator so we don't have to worry um, why is this compost taking so long Hopefully that starts speeding up now. Look at that, we've got our yard, it's got power back on. Like, <coughs> I'm very happy with episode 11, finding that generator and, you know, two generators in the magazine, just absolute, I can't stress enough how much of a game changer that is. Oh, we're able to bounce back from the disheartening of, you know, waking up to no electricity. We also witnessed a couple of helicopter flyovers today. Not entirely sure what they were, but 
Hey, they did manage to fly over and we didn't draw their attention, so that's a very good thing. Uh, I'll grab all this stuff. Uh, grab that, grab that. Alright, so now we probably want to start doing some base work in the next couple of days, now that we've got the generator and that going. Um, we're going to need water collectors, uh, we're going to need to get that sick going again, um, for, just before the rain comes in, so I think for episode 12 we're going to focus on uh, taking the base a little bit further with the uh, designing and getting stuff organised so that when we do loot we've got somewhere to bring stuff back to because at the moment we don't have what you would call sufficient um, storage and set up to really yeah justify going out on mad loots so I want to build us a storage room and start getting a storage room going just in here so it's going to I have to get the sledgehammer out and remove these panels and then, yeah, build our upstairs storage room. Um, down here I want to build some tables and get set, set up better for cooking. Uh, one thing I do want to do is start moving this stuff around. So I'll pick up this chair because uh, I would like that to be... Right, about actually, we want to put it out of the way over here against the wall. We could put it facing on this wall over here so that we could sit in it better, but not a biggie. We just want some space in here, more or less. Now, what's in here? Might grab all of this stuff out. And that's at least that opened up for storage. Uh, we've got this bookshelf here. So I should probably move all of the books over there. And yeah, the next couple of episodes is going to be us getting on top of some base or, you know, sorting. We've been blessed with the generator and the magazine required to use it. So, yeah, absolutely, like, really absolutely blessed. So I think what we will do on that is we'll take the breed that is sit at home and yeah get everything organized just nice of those in there for now in the log pile so when it rains we can just grab those and straight away plant them so we don't have to worry about watering them beforehand now uh, what have we got going on in the shed over here uh, we've got plenty of storage uh, I might just quickly organize some of this that's fine. I'll grab that out. No, that's fine. So let's stick those hammers there. Stick all that stuff in there. Here we are, just drop this plank. Close this door. Uh, so we've got an empty, we've got some empty storage in there to start storing things. Um, we might take our fishing stuff as an example. Put our fishing stuff over here. Um, now grab that out. Grab all that out. that out. Take this inside for now and we'll stick it all in here. Um, I'll grab all of this actually. It's a bit close 
close to the fire and don't want to accidentally put any of it in there. That stuff there is not important though. So we've got quite a good book collection. Very good book collection by those of things. I'll also stick that sign kit in there. And we're now starting to get a little bit of organisation happening around here. Move them. Actually, why can't I do that? Nah. No. Let's get that up there for now. Um, fill all. Alright, but yes, episode 11. Absolute godsend. Two generators. Um, there. Yeah. We really, really could not have asked for more on that. Um, so we're going to leave off here with episode 11. And I'm going to take drags upstairs. And see, we can even turn the damn TV back on. Um, not that there's anything worth watching. But yes, we can at least turn our TV on. If we want to. We've got tapes and that we can watch when we get bored so all good but for now we're gonna go to sleep I'm gonna wake up at four o'clock in the morning and we're gonna have our cigarette I'm gonna those to the funny pack And yes, we're going to yeah, leave episode 11 here. Um, we'll pick up with episode 12, right where we left off with episode you know, 11, um, where we'll build our storage room on the second floor here, ready to start looting and getting that set up for you know, the future of the playthrough. But until then, have a good one.